guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to do one of the most requested video that is a tutorial on fashion faces for one inch measurement now this one is going to be very easy and very practical especially for the beginners i will be sharing all the methods and we will cover three main levels which will help you to master the art of drawing faces starting from the basic measurement and drawing it freehand so here you can see guys i have put the picture of this one inch measurement now it's important that you study your scale well because i will give you the particular measurements because for beginners it will be easy then to do it accordingly you can watch what i am doing and do the same and later on you can definitely manipulate your own methods which i will talk later in the video at the initial stage you can always stick to the measurements i am talking about the uh, persons who are very new into sketching and with this method you can start your sketching journey and start your fashion faces so here you can see i have taken one inch line and first we will divide the line that is at half point the next point which i will put on the scale is at one eighth now come below the half and we will put two more points which will be at three by four and seven by eight I will also label the names here so keep watching the video initially it might look little technical but once or twice you guys practice with me and it will be very easy as you keep on going so here I will also take 3 by 8 on both the side in the horizontal measurement so it will be like a box and you can practice the shape that is the oval shape of the face inside the box so this method is very uh, beneficial for the beginners who are like struggling with the shape of the face so in level one you will concentrate on shaping out the face so here you can see i will uh, put the shape of the box here and inside this box you will practice your face shape so here at each point which you have given you can cut horizontal lines and so after that uh, we will practice the face here and also remember you can label the names and uh, label the measurements in your paper so that it's crystal clear to everyone to understand all the features which we are going to do starting from the hairline then the eyes the nose and the lips below the lips that is at the bottom of the face is your chin so these are the features line and we will put all the features here just exactly at the line and remember the center line which is dividing the face equally so for the first basic step we will start with the front facing face that is the center facing face or you can say the faces which you see mostly at the runway that is the front uh, figures and uh, let me know guys in the comment that uh, should i do more of the face series like stylized face and uh, adding different type of looks and styling the face with you know different hairstyles and adding makeup and so on so do let me know your comments below and uh, here you can see i'm done with the labeling and i've given the names of the features and all the measurements on this side so this is about the label one where you will create your uh, measurement chart and uh, inside the box you will practice your face shape before moving forward to the features you can always start with mastering over the shape of your face now remember guys for the uh, shape of the face it can have various types like oval shape round shape little bit square type and so on so you can give your own style of the face and mostly in fashion illustration it's all about the stylization and personal touch to the illustration so remember there is no basic rule that it has to be just the way one is telling you you can also add your own little bit a uh, uniqueness to it and here you can see i like to do my face in this manner and see how balanced it is so the box is helping and also the center line the measurement line is also helping it so in this way you can always practice inside the box first and uh, try different shape of your uh, faces 
moving to level 2 now once you have mastered the shape of the face let's move to the features adding the features so here i will not prepare any box i will directly start with the line and then i will put the measurements line to it you can just put your dots on the center line or the balance line and after that we will draw the shape of the face freehand guys so yes do practice the shape of the face inside your box few times and then you move into doing this freehand so here you can see guys you can uh, take some dots uh, the help of the dots you put two dots on both the side of the center line the balance line and uh, draw the chin area then you join the chin area with the cheekbones you can make little chiseled look you can give a sharp jawline so you can add your own stylization to the face how you like it and here i'm uh, drawing a female a face after this i will move and draw one more uh, menswear face you will see that there is slight changes in the shape of the face and you can also do it accordingly like there is no basic rule that uh, this is the shape of a female or a male face it can be anything as per your own choice just i wanted to show you that little bit difference which we draw in the uh, fashion illustration and uh, for the sake of showing you the difference i am trying to uh, do two different face shape otherwise you can follow the same method for showing any uh, style of the face so here you can see i have started drawing the uh, neckline little bit support to the face and then with the hairline and uh, we can give the hair and uh, for my illustrations mostly i like to keep the hair behind the back if we have uh, a good amount of detailing in the front of the garment so avoid giving lots of bulky hair styles in front of the face which will disturb your garment so that is one uh, technique or like a tip which i would like to share with you that if you have lots of detailing on the garment in the neckline try doing the hairstyle behind the back so that it doesn't disturb the beauty of the garment because remember we are fashion designers and fashion illustrators our main focus the first focus should be on the detailing of the garment and understanding the garment so moving to the features of the face you can see i have started with the eyes first because that is exactly at the center of the line that is at half and uh, we will start with the upper lash line and here guys i will not do uh, too much of the detailing with the pencil we will move with the color rendering and uh, avoid giving too much detailing with your pencil because it's a one inch face it's a very tiny so for beginners i would recommend that you give very basic lines basic silhouettes and later with the coloring you practice the rendering like for the nose i always like to give the tip of the nose exactly at the point of the nose line that is at three fourth and uh, the other portion of the nose that is the bridge of the nose that i will do directly uh, with my color pencils or like whatever color medium i'm using so for beginners keep it very simple very uh, you know sharp initially when you are drawing your features coming at the lips portion here i'm showing you in the side that your balance line has to cross exactly at the center of the face and you will start with the horizontal line and then do the cupid's bow remember the cupid's bow will cut exactly at the center of the balance line then it will become very easy to join the rest of the lips and below the lips keep little portion for the chin area if needed you can erase little bit below the face and increase the portion if needed guys that uh, little portion uh, below the lip so it can be slightly bigger than your one inch also there is no harm because once you start practicing freehand you can literally give any measurement to the face so this will happen first practice with your pencil and uh, measurements later when you are doing freehand you can directly start with a sketch pens also so that will come once you are like mastered over all the techniques here guys so add your uh, lines you can shade it you can go very freehand you can give all the lines all the details like i have added little texture in the hair little bit uh, jewelries and now we will move to level three here everything will be freehand like there will be no 
other measurement line just i've taken that one inch line and now we will directly start with the shape of the face so initially start with the level 1 and then level 2 practice and after some practice you will be very comfortable with the measurement that time you don't even need your scale because your brain will memorize the distance automatically and your pencil will start giving that lines guys so this is very methodical and once you are comfortable with freehand that time is the moment you give your own stylization to the face for example here i'm showing that how i draw my own menswear faces like i start with the shape of the face first i start with the hairline and then i put little bit dots which i have already memorized after i've done with the measurement and right now i don't even need my scale anymore to do the faces i do it very freehand and in between i also like to change a little bit the shape of the eyebrows or the eyes or the facial uh, features so it depends at what kind of look you want to give or uh, the character of the face or the style of the garment so once you start doing your own stylized face i mean playing around with the uh, shapes of the nose or the lips and so on you will see that this is actually very interesting so it's all about adding the character to the face like what kind of hairstyle you want to do like a messy hair or a, a well settled hair and uh, what kind of a uh, garment collection you are making and uh, i think i have not made a video on menswear hairstyle so that video is also going to come very soon i have already done hairstyle for a uh, female wears mostly but again that is not very subjective you can add uh, your hairstyles for any style and any gender of the garment i don't mean it that way it's just about that basic difference like if you want to add a hairstyle for short hair then how you can do this because the rendering changes so here uh, in the menswear i've given a short hair and little bit messy look like for adding the character i'm also adding this uh, necklace neck piece with a locket so suppose you are doing like a beachwear theme so you can add a little bit of accessory to the garment and make it little funky looking so it's all again about adding the character to the face lastly for the beginners i would like to say use a hp pencil for drawing don't put too much pressure on the paper so that it's easier to clean and uh, keep the pencil sharp and pointed or use HP pencil I'm using the 0.5 mm more details in the description box below so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial do let me know your comments and feedbacks or any other suggestions you have subscribe if you are new I shall see you all in the upcoming video till then keep illustrating take care bye bye